Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, adding integers with models. Before we can add integers, we need to first remember what a zero pair is. We talked about zero pairs when we were discussing opposites. And here we have a key of some counter chips that we are going to be using today to represent or adding integer problems. So whenever I see yellow, I know that that's going to be positive one, and red is going to be negative one. A zero pair is just when you have both a positive and a negative. They come together to make zero. This is because one and negative one are opposites. So on the number line, they would both end at zero. This is true no matter how many sets of zero pairs you have. Here I have three positive ones, so I have positive three. And here I have three negative ones, so I have negative three. Each of these is going to make a zero pair. So this problem, if I were to write it out, is three plus negative three equals zero. If I think about this in terms of money, if I had three dollars and I spent three dollars, I'll have zero dollars. Let's refresh a little bit for our number line. I know that when I am traveling to the right that I, of zero, that I am going positive. And if I'm traveling to the left of zero, I'm going negative. This will be important when we look at our number line models. Let's get started. Now, we're gonna start out with a very, very basic problem, one plus two. We all know the answer is three, but the point here is to learn how to use the models in order to add up numbers that are not all positive. So my first step when I'm using counters is to first show the first number. So I have one here, so I have one yellow. Then I'm going to add whatever the second number is. So because it's a positive two, I added two yellows. Then I will always follow the same steps. I will eliminate any zero pairs. And remember a zero pair has to have both colors. Since there's only one color here, I skip to the next step, which is count what is left. So I have one, two, three, and we know that the answer there is three. Let's look at this on a number line. This first number, this time, instead of putting out one counter, we have to show it on a number line. We're gonna start at zero, and the, what positive or negative is gonna tell me which direction to go. So because one is positive, I'm gonna go one right. I'm just drawing these little lines to show where I started and stopped. Here, I have a positive two. We know that that is going to be continuing to go right because right is positive and left is negative. So I'm going to travel another two right. Notice that I did not travel to the number two. I traveled a distance of two. That's important for number lines. Where my second line ends or lands is going to be my answer. So here we go again with three. Now let's try this with some integers. In this problem, I have negative three plus five. I'll start with three negative chips, which are red, and I'm going to add five yellow chips. I'm gonna do this in a very organized way, where I'm going to stack any yellows underneath the red. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm doing this because it makes eliminating my zero pairs much easier. That is my next step. So I can see here, I actually have three sets of zero pairs. You can box them like this and cross them out, or since we're using hands-on manipulatives, I can simply just get rid of them. And whatever is left is going to be my answer. So here I have two yellow chips and yellows are positive, so I have positive two as an answer. Let's look at the same problem on the number line. I'm going to start at zero, and this negative is telling me to travel left three. So that's what I'll do first. Here I have a positive five, which I know that that means travel to the right. If I start at negative three, because I'm always gonna be starting where my last number line left off, I'm gonna go backwards one, two, three, four, five from the direction that I came from. And that's gonna actually have me land at two. Two is the answer here, because wherever the last number line stops is your answer for the problem. If we try this again with another problem, this time the second number is gonna be negative. We will first count out our four yellow chips, and then we're gonna to add to it two red chips. Remember to line up any reds and yellows you have, and then eliminate zero pairs. So here I have two sets of zero pairs. 
I'm going to eliminate them and I end up with positive two. So that's my answer for this problem. On my number line, I'll start at zero. And because this is positive, I'm gonna go four to the right. My second number line is gonna start right here, but this is telling me to go two to the left. When I stop, I get to an answer of two. My final example is negative two plus negative three. So how I have both negative numbers now, I'm gonna start with my two red counter chips and add three red counter chips to that. I'll eliminate any zero pairs, but notice that I don't have two different colors, so there are no zero pairs here. So I'll just count what's left. One, two, three, four, five, which is negative five. Here, I'm gonna go two to the left. So I'll start at my origin and go two to the left. And then from there, I'm gonna go three to the left. And I just put them in a straight line, but you could stack this one if you wanted to. And my answer is going to give me a negative five. So that is how we add with models. Let's recap. We know with counters, we wanna make sure we stack any zero pairs, so any different colors. Uh, we wanna eliminate our zero pairs before we count our answer. For number lines, we know that the number in the problem is gonna tell us the distance, but that the sign will tell us the direction. And the answer is where you end up. That wraps up this lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click to subscribe so you can see this and other lessons. Until next time.